Ready to build your dream Texas metal building project? Financing can help make it happen sooner. So welcome back, Pac, Anabela, and Cassandra here from Wolf Steel Buildings. Um, and today we're going to be talking to you guys about the different financing options that we offer here. One of the most common questions we get from our clients is if we offer financing for metal buildings. Correct. So we do offer various financing. We do understand here at Wolf Steel Buildings that this is a big investment that you're making. And typically a client will buy anywhere between one to two buildings on average in their lifetime. So this is the financing options that we've had, that we've compiled to help you guys get started on your project. Uh, that's right. Depending on the extent of your project, it takes a lot of time for planning. It also takes uh, funding for it as well, uh, which is what we're going to cover in this video today. Correct. So we are actually going to be doing a three-part series for videos, um, and we're going to be featuring all of our partners in financing, which is Frost Bank, HFS, and Upgrade. Um, and we will be dropping those videos on our channel back to back. So make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you can see when those are dropping. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this video started. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is going to be a multiple part video series where we are going to be highlighting our partner financial firms. Um, and we're gonna be talking important details that you need to know when you're picking out which one is right for you. Correct, so we'll look into a few different things like how does it work? You know, how do you apply? Uh, do you need an existing home on the property? Are you the owner of the property? What are the credit requirements and interest rates you could be looking at? Before we talk about our first um, financial firm here, can you please give us just an overview of how the financial um, process works? Of course. In summary, this is how financing your metal building works. So you speak with a Wolf Steel representative, our sales guys, and you get an idea of the project that you're looking for. You express to them that you want to actually do some financing through us. We'll get you connected to a loan consultant and then we submit your documentation, we work with you on that part, and then from there, when everything's done, then you get approved and you get funded. Seems easy enough, but we will quickly learn there's, it has its ups and downs. But to make it a seamless process, make sure to plan out your metal building. Um, also, this can be the hardest part, just because you have to plan for what you're wanting and also what you're approved for in your financing. Um, but not to worry, we do help you with that part. Um, but just trying to get them to you know, work together with your budget, with your lending, and also the project that you do want to bring to light. Correct, so it's a little hard. We, our sales team, I think our sales team always tells uh, all of our clients, but we also say it in our videos, it's like, let's assess your needs and then we can look at your wants and kind of see how we can um, either work backwards if, if it's a little bit over or how you can, it's like, okay, hey, I still have space and I want to utilize that full amount, that full loan amount, what can I add on there? So. Mm -hmm. That's very true. The good thing about it is here at Wolf Steel Buildings, we do help you guys through the whole entire planning process. We do have dedicated teams that can assist you with these kind of, um, you know, questions or just the process in general, because we do know this is a very big investment. Um, and at the end of the day, we want to make sure that you do it right the first time. And we want to make sure that we can help you get there. You're absolutely right, Anadena. <laughs> <laughs> also do research on what is the best financing option for you. Go ahead and ask our sales team about the financing options. You can check out our website too, uh, where we provide some basic information and also answer some frequently asked questions. Our website does have a designated page um, where it makes it easier for you to browse, you know, some of the information so you can learn more about it. Once you have chosen your preferred lender, then you can start your application process and that will start with the pre-approvals. But don't worry, Pac, uh, one of the best things about this whole entire process is this does not affect your credit score. So let me go ahead and re-emphasize this. This does not affect your credit score. That does not happen until you choose which application that you want to go with. That's when that hard check actually hits. So you can apply for multiple of these and then really see which one you get approved for. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's cool. And then when you're ready to accept, um, kind of reviewing everything over and look at the loan and then make sure you kind of look at the following as well. So that would be how long is your application actually open for? Just because some of them do close earlier than the others, um, it'd be good to know by when you have to make a decision on that one before you have to reapply again. Um, also, what are the interest rates on those offers that you've gotten and when do those rates actually start? Um, and then the last one would be, uh, what are the preferred payments um, that you're trying to make and the duration of the term of your loan? Um, those are pretty big ones to look at. Yeah. 
Uh, so it's definitely very important for you to look at all of the details um, that come from each lender, specifically, you know, once you know which one you want to go to, make sure you go over all of these things. If there's anything that you are very unclear of, make sure to ask either our sales representatives or the loan officers and they will have uh, great answers for you to make sure that we're really making sure that there's nothing left unsaid or unclear on your side. That way, you know, we can avoid any further issues down the line for you. Very well said, Anabella. <laughs> and after all those documents come through and you select, you know, which one you're going to go with, um, then we'll be able to get that funding to you either directly from the lender or sometimes it'll go through us and then that goes to you. Um, and then from there we can get your building going. Yeah. So again, as we said, this does vary. So the first, actually, the first option that we are going to be talking to you guys is going to be Frost Bank. So let's get it started. Awesome. Okay. So again, getting started with a Frost Bank. Um, and we're, I think we're really proud to say that we've created such a great relationship with Frost mm -hmm. Bank. Yeah. Um, the good thing is, is, well, I think we share a lot of similar values in the sense of they are a Texas only bank and we're a Texas only company. So we only service the state of Texas. Once again, <laughs> we'll still uh, only services the state of Texas and so does Frost Bank. So. Yeah, um, absolutely. I like to actually call them our next door bank. We actually share a building with one of their branches. So we go down an elevator and they're right there. <laughs> um, so from there, I mean, they they do share a lot of our um, values, the commitment. Um, we've built a good uh, relationship with one of the lenders there. Um, she's actually helped a lot of our clients um, previously um, to get them approved, going through the process. Um, so she's made it pretty smooth. Yeah, which is really good, but the fact that we can go down there and kind of go talk to them, our neighbors, uh, we walk by there every morning actually, so they, they see if we're running, if we're running later. <laughs> um, but if you're going with Frost Bank, so how, how does how does a client who's going, you know, looking at watching us right now, how do they apply? That's that's something that they want to do. Yeah. So if you go onto our website, there's actually a section that says like uh, it talks a little bit about Frost Bank. Um, it also has like an I'm interested button. So you would kind of go there and then it pulls up a quick form. It takes max five minutes. It has maybe like five questions on there for you. Um, so what happens is that when you submit that, um, you'll hear from us and we'll introduce you over to our um, lending contact there. And we'll send over that quick information you filled out, provide that to them. They'll kind of get a little bit of a head start and we'll introduce you via email on that. Yeah, so, so it's not directly through them. So again, it's not directly through um, through Frost. You kinda, we kind of guide you through mm -hmm. through the process. That's Correct. great. So there's a little bit of a personalized connection between both both parties, us um, as you know, your metal builder, metal builder, <laughs> and then uh, you as the client, and then with Frost Bank. Okay, great. So one of the things that you mentioned that a client should be looking for is, uh, you know, do they need to have an existing home on the property? And I think this is actually a really important question. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm saying it out loud, you know, it's really important because a lot of the times people buy properties um, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy a piece of property and I'm gonna go build a building out there. And then, but there's nothing existing on the property. Um, is this something that's required for Frost Bank? Yeah, so we actually get that a lot. <laughs> Um, so Frost Bank does require you to have a existing home on the property. Um, they'd want it to prior of anything else. They do want that just because it actually connects with the loan um, of what's on that property. Also, with that being said, it kind of actually requires you to be the homeowner that's on the name of the property that's and on question. the home. Yeah. Um, so it, that is, you know, that is required by them to get approved for a loan through them. Honestly, this is really important. I think maybe if you're a real estate agent and you have insight on this, maybe comment down below for those people who are shopping around. Um, but I think sometimes we don't know those kind of things. So I think that's really important. Like I buy a piece of property. I just want it as like a secondary getaway thing. And mm -hmm. maybe I'm going to build my house on that same property a little bit later. And if you can't do that right afterwards, you don't have the ability to do that. Yeah. Yep. That's kind of how it works. Um, don't be discouraged. We do have other lending options that yeah. do let you do those things where you can put one first or worst case, you get your own. So we, we do work with what we can get you connected, how we can, um, just Frost Bank wouldn't be for you. <laughs> but a good thing about Frost Bank is, you know, looking at credit requirements, do they have credit requirements? Mm -hmm. So they actually don't have a minimum credit requirement. Um, what they do require though is that you don't have any late payments, anything in collections, just that it doesn't paint the right picture for them. Um, you're kind of looking as a risk there. Um, but if you do have low credit because you know it's you haven't had credit long enough or you haven't used it up enough, um, they do work with that. So they do take that into consideration. 
Oh, that's really good, actually. It's really, really good. Um, so another thing that we look at whenever we're all purchasing, you know, is interest rates. So how much is the interest rate and when do those interest rates start? Yeah. So with Frost Bank, it starts at a 6.9% interest rate. Um, and those interest rates start, um, they actually start right when you get funded for the project. So let's say um, right now I got approved and they're already giving me the money. The minute I get that money funded to me, then your interest starts after that. Um, so yeah. So just just so we can be a little clear, so um, there's different times that the uh, that the funds get released to you. Mm -hmm. um, so with Frost Bank, the funds get released to to the client first mm -hmm. and not directly to us. Correct. So Correct. with Frost Bank, it does go directly to you guys, um, and you get it in portions. So before they release any portion of it to you, they do require us to fill out a form. Um, they'll provide you the form, you send it into us, we sign off on that, we send it back to you and you let them know and they fund you within one to two days typically is well, the turnaround on that. And then when you get that funded, then you make the payments to us. <laughs> Actually, I, now that I remember, I have seen some clients that are like, oh, let me fill it out or hey, I already filled it out, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and let them know. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's actually really good to know because I think um, some of our finance, other financing options work a little different. Yeah. So um, that will be in the next few videos. Um, <laughs> so make sure to continue to stay tuned. Okay guys, so finishing up with Frost Bank, we hope this video was um, a little bit more informative um, to get further information that Frost Bank is one of the financing options that you're looking for. Yeah, make sure to check out our financing page on our website, email us, call us, text us, any of those things. <laughs> uh, you know, we, or you can even leave us a comment down below with any questions you might have. Um, but yeah, we'll stay tuned for two more options that we have. All right, guys, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification bell. These videos are a video series where we will have a three parts. We are now finished with part one. Let's get on with part two. <laughs> How simple is the application process? Yeah, so the application is pretty, it is pretty quick. <laughs>